good morning, fourth year students, uh, King Marriott Higher Institute of Tourism and Hotels. Today is our English lecture. We are going to continue what we started last time about the uh, ancient Greek Roman monuments in Alexandria. Today we are going to talk about uh, the catacombs of Qom Shu'afa. And I'm going to talk about Qom Shu'afa. Uh, first of all, before going through the terminology, uh, I'd like just to draw your attention to some common facts. That the city of Alexandria was originally established by Alexander the Great, the most famous Greek king and army leader in 332 before Christ. And soon Alexandria became the cultural and commercial center of the Mediterranean Sea region. And then the terminology and the term triclinian, triclinian means a dining room, or as we say, the room of the sofa or the room of the table. وديب دائما بتبقى موجودة في ال في الأبر رومان كلاس هاوسز تريكلينيم بيبقى عبارة عن في دايننج تيبل سراوندد باي ثري كوتشز كوتشز جست لايك سوفا كده زي الأريكة بيعودوا على الأرض يبقى تريكلينيم هي الدايننج روم أو الهاوس أو the more upper class Romans The triclinium's name refers to the fact that the room generally held three couches, couches, and their sofas, areca or canap, inside on it. بعد كده عندي روتوندا اللي معناها قاعة مستديرة أو مبنى مستدير بيبقى عبارة عن around room, especially one with a dome بيبقى فوق قبة. تمام. Only any building with a circular ground plan, often covered by a dome. Dome يعني قبة. It can also refer to a round room within a building. بعد كده عندي فيستيبيول اللي هو الدهليز أو المدخل أو الردها أو الكوريدور أو اللوبي. هو عبارة عن اللوبي أو إنترانس هول، a passage ممر between the entrance and the interior. Of a building. بعد كده البارpet اللي هو بيبقى عبارة عن زي قوس كده أو زي portico واخد شكل triangular مثلثي الشكل بيبقى طبعا في مقدمة المدخل بتاع البيت وبيبقى في أعمدة تحتية تمام. الأول الأول سوري سوري الباربت اعتقد ان هو الحاجز بتاع الشرفة او الدرابزين سوري التانية البدمنت الباربت هو الحاجز بتاع الشرفة او الدرابزين واحيانا بيبقى المتراس بتاع القلعة هو عبارة عن الول بروجيكتنج فروم ذا ايدج اوف بلاتفورم تيرس تيرس يعني بلكونة والروف باربتس ماي رايز اباف ذا كورنيش اوف بيلدينج Or form the upper portion of a defensive wall on a castle. The wall metras of the castle. Cemetery, which is the mezzanine, a place usually an enclosed area of land in which dead bodies are buried. Buried, meaning they are not buried. The term cemetery implies that the land is specifically designated as a burying ground. As a burying ground. هنتكلم عن the catacomb of قوم الشعافة هديكم فكرة يعني مبسطة According to a legend a donkey dragging cart filled with a stone in Alexandria accidentally fell into a pit in the ground بيقول لي كان فيه حمار بيجر عربية كارو العربية الكارو دي كانت محملة بالأحجار في الأسكندرية وقعت في حفرة If through the donkey may have earned the honor of discovering one of the most fantastic sites in history, namely 
we are talking about the Komishukafa here. Ancient catacombs unlike any other in the world of antiquity. Uh, according to archaeologists, the catacombs of Komishukafa resemble Bitishbe, the largest burial site, Mauka Def, dating from the Greek Roman period. Discovered in Alexandria, a particularly interesting city of antiquity, it was no surprise that what was hidden in the underground burial tunnels and fed for centuries was a blend of different ancient arts and cultures. Uh, the name Komishu'af al Taban is derived from Biyoshtaqtimin, the ancient Greek, translating mana Mound of Shards. Mound of Shards. Kilmit Mound, yani tell, zay piles, or coma, of shards, el shards, el hiya, el qasra, el fukhariya, el hiya, el shukafa, yani, el hiya, fukhar muhatta. As the area used to contain piles of shattered pottery, Fukhar Muhatta, Mkassarian. These catacombs make up the largest known Roman burial site in Egypt and one of the last major works of construction dedicated to the religion of ancient Egypt. Demonstrating Alexandria's hallmark fusion, fusion, yani mazik, damk, been a pharaonic and the Greek styles. The architects used the Greek Roman approach. The catacombs consist of three tiers of tombs and chambers cut into bedrock to a depth of 35 meters. The catacombs measuring underground tunnels lie in the district, uh, lie in the district of Karmuz to the east of Alexandria. The area was called Komishukafa, or a pile of shards. The cemetery dates back to the 1st century Anno Domini and was used until the 4th century Anno Domini. Uh, the catacombs in Alexandria are so called because the design was very similar to the Christian catacombs of Rome. The Alexandrian catacombs was most likely a private tomb later converted to a public cemetery and it consists of three levels cut into the bedrock a staircase salalim aw darag rotonda اللي احنا قلنا عليها اللي هي غرفة مستديرة بيبقى فوقيها في السقف بتاعها في قبة a triclinium اللي هي dining room a banquet hall صالة للمأدبة أو للولائم بانكوت هول اللي قاعة الولائم فيستيبيول اللي هو الممر أو الدهليز أو اللوبي أو الكوريدور تمام أن أنتي تشامبر أنتي تشامبر معناها حجرة الانتظار زي ويتنج روم أنتي تشامبر معناها حجرة الانتظار and the burial chamber with three recesses كلمة recesses بيبقى تجويف جوا الحيطة on it in each recess في كل تجويف there is a sarcophagus بيبقى فيه تابوت والsarcophagus هو عبارة عن a stone box or coffin in which the dead body lie the catacombs contains as well a large number of grooves جروفز يعني حفر طويلة ضيقة وعميقة فوق سطح الأرض بنسميها أخدود أو أخديد تمام cut into the rock where coffins are stored هنبص كده يا جماعة على الريدنج بتاعتنا بيقول طبعا ان هنا المقابر بتاعت قومة شقافة كانت بتعد من احد عجائب الدنيا السبعة بتاعت العصور الوسطى يعني it was considered one of the seven wonders of the middle ages او medieval world 
the catacombs, meaning underground tunnels, and تحت الأرض lie in the district of Carmuz in east of Alexandria. Uh, the area was called Kom Shukafa or Bile of Shards. عرفنا يعني Bile يعني كومة with Shards عرفنا اللي هي بتعتبر الكسر بتاع الفخار أو السراميك أو البطري. The cemetery dates back to the first century and it was AD and Miladean and was used until the fourth uh, century and It was discovered in 1900 when by pure chance the a donkey drawn cart fell into a pit which led to the discovery of the uh, the catacombs in Alexandria are so called because the design was very similar to the Christian catacombs in Rome. Most likely it was a private tomb, later converted to a public cemetery. It consists of three levels cut into the rock, a staircase, a rotunda, a triclinium, a banquet hall, a vestibule, an antechamber worth it in Tazar, and the peril chamber worth it in Daphne with three recesses, via Taletta Gawif. In it, in each recess, we call it a grave. There is a sarcophagus. We have a uh, The catacombs also contain a large number of lockly or grooves. إحنا قلنا اللي هي الأخديد أو أخدود ودي بتبقى حفر طويلة ضيقة وعميقة فوق سطح الأرض. Uh, or grooves cut in the rock. After decreasing the level of subsoil water in 1995, the second level was open to visitors. By the lowest level, but the lowest level is still submerged. The entrance lead to a spiral staircase, سلالم حلزونية شكل كده ملفوفة, of 99 steps and goes around the shaft, uh, which was used to lower the body of the deceased by means of ropes to prevent any damages to it. Some slates were cut into the sides of the shaft uh, to allow the daylight through to the staircase that was used by the visitors. The staircase leads to a vestibule with two niches on both sides. The top of each niche is in the shape of a shell, while the inferior part contains a half round bench cut into the rock which was used by the visitors to take some rest after descending the stairs of the tomb. Uh, the vestibule leads to a circular hole called Rotunda, uh, story and a topic of the tomb and surrounded by a small enclosure hole called the Barpet, on top of which is a dome supported by six pillars. Between the pillars there were some figures of human heads, some of which were discovered and transferred to the Greco-Roman Museum in Alexandria. To the left of the rotunda is a vestibule, which leads to a chamber, which was also cut into the rock. Its ceiling is supported by four pillars, and it contains four pinches, again cut in the rock and takes the shape of a letter U. This chamber was called the Triclinium. Most probably the room was dedicated to the visitors where they would have dined. Where they would have dined uh, before accessing before accessing the main chamber there are two corridors one in the east and the other in the west. Each one leading to a large number of lockly and grooves. After you descend to the hole that uh, passes the rotunda, there is a small hole in front. In this vestibule, we see the east. Uh, we see to the east a statue of a man inside a niche, while to the west there is a statue of a woman inside a niche. Both the statues were sculpted in the Egyptian way with some features of Greek art. Two composite columns containing a mixture of Egyptian and Greek Roman elements support the facade of this uh, hall. 
Among the Egyptian elements is the winged sun disk, the falcon god Horus, and the Urius, or the cobra, while the Greco-Roman elements are present represented in the pediment at the top of the chamber. Pediment will be cause. حاجة كده زي شكلها زي المثلث وبتزين مدخل البيوت أو المباني الرومانية زمان حاجة زي البورتيكو. Uh, the facade of the main burial chamber is decorated with some Greek elements such as the shield Dera of the goddess Athena on top of which the head of Medusa uh, Medusa ده يعني وحش أسطوري من الأساطير اليونانية القديمة لو أي حد بصلها uh, بيتحول لحجر بهرصة فيها تعبين وحاجات زي كده Medusa and we know according to the ancient Greek myth Medusa was able to petrify the hunger and it turned into stones anyone who looked into her eyes the representation of Medusa here was to protect the tomb عشان تحمي المقابر زي وجود أبو الهول كده عند الأهرامات عشان يحمي المقابر الأهرامات يعني uh, under Medusa is a huge serpent with a double crown once we enter the burial chamber, which was completely cut into the rock, we see three large recesses. Tagawif. Uh, each one containing a sarcophagus. The burial chamber has a vaulted roof. Sef. Uh, supported by four square pillars, whose capitals take the shape of papyrus. Uh, the sarcophagus and its lid are cut completely from one block of rock. The body of the deceased was placed into the sarcophagus through an opening in the back wall and then it was blocked after burying the body with the stones. The sarcophagus is decorated with flowers. The head of Medusa, God Dionysus, and other mythical gods. There is a representation of the deceased in a lying position. The most important scene on the front wall above the sarcophagus represents a mummy, mumia lying on a funerary bed. Next to this bed, God Anupis, is holding in his left hand a jar. Uh, jars. It is supposed to contain some liquids that were used during mummification while his right hand is touching the mummy. God Anubis is wearing a Roman dress on the top of his head there is the sun desk with a cobra on each side. Underneath تحت, the table there is a representation of the three canopic jars. Uh, for the viscera, uh, originally there were supposed to be four jars, which represented the four sons of Horus, Happy, Amasti, uh, Domotif, uh, and Kupsmoff. Most likely, the artist did not find enough uh, a piece to represent the four jar uh, Domotif which take the shape of a jackal or Anopis. Uh, because the body of Anopis is occupying this space, Anopis in this case represents the two gods. Uh, next to this, the god Tus, Thut, or Tut, the Egyptian god of knowledge and wisdom, is standing wearing the double crown. Holding the scepter, Saulagan or Asa Sulta, with one hand and a jar with the other. Near the end of the lion shaped table, the god Horus is standing wearing the double crown of Upper and Lower Egypt. The remaining scene represents a lady standing above her head. Standing above her head, there is a sun desk, and she is raising her hands in the prayer position. In front of the lady is a priest wearing a long garment of thiab, giving the lotus flower and a jar to the lady. 
The right recess of the burial chamber contains nearly the same design and elements. It contains a sarcophagus with the same decorations. The most important scene on the right recess represents a figure of an emperor or a ruler who is wearing a short kilt. He is putting the double crown on his head, holding a necklace with both hands, presenting it to the sacred bull, bull Serapis. Behind Serapis is a goddess, stretching her wings, maybe representing the goddess Isis. There is another scene representing a mummy holding a big scepter, with the god Anopis standing in front of her. There is also a representation of an altar between Anopis and the mummy, from which incense smoke, you know, uh, al is rising. There is also a scene depicting an emperor who is offering the feather of might to a god, probably Bitah. Between them, there is an altar, Mahrab, which takes the shape of the lotus flower. Zaharat al Lotus. Kalimat di taban muhimma. Arfin taban recesses, ili tagawif, il grooves, ili al khadid, submerged, yani, mughatta, garana, o mughatta bil ma, inferior, yani, adna. Assessing, يمكن الاقتراب إليه بتريفاي يعني يحجر يعني يتحول إلى حجر turn into stones vaulted يعني it has a vault أو فيها دوم كده مقببة أو فيها قب jackal اللي هو ده نوع من الحيوانات بيسموه ابن آوى زي الكلب كده أو الفوكس fox البيدمنت اللي هو القوس المثلث اللي بيزين مدخل المبنى اليوناني وبيبقى تحتيه اعمدة اخر حاجة عندنا اللي هو الباسيف ازاي نحول جملة من الاكتف للباسيف طبعا بسيطة جدا ان في خطوتين الخطوة الاولى ان المفعول بيبتع جملة المبنية المعلوم بيصبح فاعلا الجملة المبنية المجهول يعني بنبدأ به الجملة تاني حاجة بنحدد زمن الفعل لو كان زمن فعل الجملة المبنية المعلوم مضارع بسيط يبقى في الحالة دي لما باجي أحول للمبني المجهول بجيب يا آم يا إز يا آر زائد التصريف الثالث للفعل طب لو كان مضارع مستمر بجيب عند التحويل للبسط بجيب آم أو إز أو آر زائد بيينج زائد البسط بارتسبه طب لو كان مضارع تام بجيب هاف أو هاز زائد بين زائد البسط بارتسبه طب لو كان ماضي بسيط بجيب ووز او وير زائد الباست بارتسبل طب لو كان ماضي مستمر بجيب ووز او وير زائد بينج زائد الباست بارتسبل طيب لو كان ماضي تام بجيب هاد زائد بين زائد الباست بارتسبل طب لو كان مستقبل بسيط بجيب ويل زائد بي زائد الباست بارتسبل طب لو اي فعل ناقص جه بعديه مصدر بجيب نفس الفعل الناقص زائد بي زائد الباست بارتسبل من المصدر طب لو كان فيوتشر كونتينيوس الفيوتشر كونتينيوس اللي هو بيتكون من ويل زائد بي زائد الفعل على ان جي عند التحويل للبسل بجيب ويل زائد بي زائد بيينج زائد التصريف الثالث للفعل اخر حاجه لو كان زمن الفعل عندي مستقبل تام اللي هو بيتكون من ويل زائد هاف زائد تصريف تالت للفعل عند التحويل البسط بجيب ويل زائد هاف زائد بين زائد التصريف التالت للفعل عندي مجموعة من التمارين يا ريت حضراتكم تحلوها أو ممكن أنا أحلها مع حضراتكم Uh, the government is planning a new road. طبعا هنا the government the فاعل is planning هو the فاعل واضح إنه هو فاعل في المضارع المستمر. و a new road ده المفعول به يبقى a new road near my house ده اللي هبدأ به الجملة المبنية المجهول يعني هيبقى الفاعل وبعدين طبعا بما إن هنا present continuous يبقى عند التحويل للبسط بجيب يا آم يا إز يا آر زائد بينج زائد التصريف التالت للفعل. A new road مفرد يبقى تاخد is يبقى تبقى a new road 
near my house is being bland is being bland وقف ممكن احط خطوه ثالثه ان الفاعل ده اللي هو the government بيصبح مفعول به في الجمله المبنيه المجهول ويسبق بحرف الجر باي يعني اقول في الاخر باي ذا جوفرنمنت وممكن ما اقولهاش الجمله الثانيه ماي جراند فاذر بيلت ماضي اهي ذيس هاوس يبقى ذيس هاوس واز بيلت لان الماضي البسيط لما بحوله بجيب ووز او ويرز التصريف التالت للفعل طب ليه جبت ووز عشان ذيس هاوس ده مفرد لو كان جامع هتبقى وير وير بيلت بيكاسو واز بينتينج جورونيكا لوحة اسمها جورونيكا جورونيكا مفرد وده ماضي مستمر يبقى جورونيكا واز بينج بينتينج ذا كلينر هاز كلين ذا اوفيس هاز كلين مضارع تام يبقى هنا ذا اوفيس هاز بين كليند لان عند التحويل المضارع التام للباسف بجيب هاف او هاز بين زائد التصريف الثالث للفعل هنا استخدمت هاز عشان ده اوفيس مفرد المكتب مفرد لكن لو كانت اوفيسز مكاتب يبقى هقول هاف بين كلين هي هاد ريتن 3 بوكس وكتب ثلاث كتب طبعا هاد ريتن ده ماضي تام يبقى عند التحويل هقول 3 بوكس هاد بين ريتن الماضي التام اللي هو هاد زائد التصريف الثالث للفعل تحويله للباسف بيبقى هاد زائد بين زائد التصريف الثالث للفعل واضح طبعا ان كل الضمائر سواء مفرد او جمع بتيجي مع هاد نمبر 6 جون ويل تيل يو ليتر طبعا هنبدا ب يو ده الضمير مفعول هيتحول لضمير فعل هيبقى يو برضو هتبقى يو ويل بي تولد ليتر يو ويل بي تولد ليتر Uh, by this time tomorrow we will have signed the deal will have signed the مستقبل تام يبقى the deal will have been signed somebody should do the work يبقى the work should be done uh, the traffic might have delayed Jimmy يبقى Jimmy might have been delayed people who speak Portuguese in Brazil يبقى Portuguese is spoken in Brazil Everybody loves Mr. Brown يبقى Mr. Brown is loved They are building a new stadium يبقى new stadium is being built عشان stadium مفرد تاخد is is being built The wolf ate the princess. يبقى the princess was eaten. لأن الجملة في زمن الماضي ate يعني أكلة. من 14 من الجملة 14 حتى الآخر حضراتكم هتحلوهم ك homework. Now we come to the end of today's lecture. Thank you for being attention and see you again next week. Goodbye.